Hey Savers, welcome back to the channel. It is a rainy day, but we're going to do some savings challenges, and I hope you stay tuned. So, today we have 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 11, 12, 13, that's $130. I want to give a big shout out to my friend Melissa over at Budget Stuff Save Repeat, who inspired me with her counting style. Honestly, it does make it easier because my brain too, I have like a million things happening in my mind at once and sometimes it's like while you're talking, you forget what you're talking about. You forget what you're saying. You lose count. So, <laughs> that's why I'm counting the way I am. I'm jumping right into my need first. We need to put, how much do we need to put? We need to put $25 in our laundry envelope. So, going to add that in first and that brings us to 2, 4, 45, 50, 55, 60. So we have $60 in there. We need it because again, um, did I say this before? I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I have four children, three of them are big boys and we have laundry all the time and the summer is coming up. So with everybody home all the time, I think laundry costs are going to increase. So I like having a little bit extra in there just in case. So I'm going to pull out my blue Sharpie marker this week. I think we did blue last week. So let's go with purple instead just to switch it up just a little bit. Okay, so it is raining outside. So if you hear that, I hope it doesn't bother you. The rain actually soothes me, you know, but it's just so dark today. So anyway, $10,000 savings. I am going to save $80 this week. And we already used the 80 envelope. So what I'm going to do is color in 78 and still put $80 inside. So some of these numbers, like I said before, are inflated. But that's a good thing because you save a little bit more. Or if some weeks where I'm not able to save as much, at least I have extra in here. So we can still hit our goal. So we have... 50 which is 5 this is 6 this is 7 and 10 more would be 8 which makes that 80 so 50 60 70 75 80 okay and then I'm not going to count it I'm still adding to it I will need to probably condense this once a month if I continue to do it the way I'm doing it every single week because I don't want the bills to stretch out this envelope it's already lifting a little bit and I want to keep it as neat as possible so that's it we added to it quick and simple and fun and exciting the next one is going to be snow gardener 307's the life of a pig who wants to save but loves to spend I am so glad that we finished this challenge and we finished this challenge last week and I started on Money doesn't buy happiness. This is a $25 challenge, which should give me enough. But you know what? Before I even do this one, because I have $10, $25 left, I want to see if we can add to Father's Day. Again, I don't think I'm saving all of this for this Father's Day because my husband's very simple, and the gift I have for him, I know he'll appreciate it. But it's not too expensive. So... I don't know if 40 is the highest denomination. <laughs> it's kind of scared to scratch. But let's go and let's see what we get. <gasps> oh no. Okay. I have to pull from money that I already had saved in another challenge from last year so I'm not pulling from anything I'm currently doing because that's fifty dollars Jeez, and I don't do IOUs at all I don't want an IOU I don't like that uh, already <laughs> it's stressful so oh my gosh that was fast twenty five dollars plus I need to pull money from savings challenges I finished earlier but I didn't I didn't transfer the money back to the bank so we're gonna see if I have enough to make that 50 yeah shoot nope this is eight dollars five six seven eight. Oh my god oh, 
Jesus. This is not fun. Okay. It's not fun when you have an IOU. I don't like IOUs. I don't do IOUs. Okay. So, I have, nope, I'm still working on some other scratch-offs from Marlene's Challenge that I haven't finished yet. So, it's not fair for me to take that money out because I have I've started and I want to finish it. Let's see what we're going to do. Okay. This is why we keep money in here. Let's see. 5, 10, 15. That's 20. 22. 23, 24, 25. So I just pulled from my abundance binder. That's money that's just there just because. Just you can touch it if you need to. And if we're going to save it, let's save it towards Father's Day. So this is 25. And it's 30. No, it's 35. 45. And we made it. 45. 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. I made it. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't get to do this challenge this week. But that's okay. That's okay. We, we have money saved towards this challenge this I purchased from hands and bands like two years ago might even been three years ago I've had it for so long and I really want to use it because I paid for it and it's fun uh, 5 10 15 25 35 45 6 7 8 9 and 50 there we go <laughs> let me add that to the Father's Day envelope I'm not counting it you probably already know how much we would have in there if you saw the other scratch off numbers so if I I don't believe we'll spend all of this this year Father's Day I might just put some of it towards next year's Father's Day saving slowly but doing it consistently it adds up and you build the discipline to not spend everything and save as much as you can so when it comes you don't have to go into debt for it so I'm not going to count it. I'm going to put this here. I'll need to condense this one soon because it's full of singles and fives. But there we go. We saved towards Father's Day. And we didn't touch this one yet, but I hope to do it next week. And I appreciate you for being here for as long as you were. I hope that before you leave, you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in the next one. Remember to be strong and courageous and keep on saving. Bye for now.